I, I think that's a good camp. You know, and I think that'll help us once we get into the season. How much different does it feel than this group was in the spring, though? Well, I think we've gotten better. I mean, I think we're, we're a better football team. Obviously, we went through the spring kind of getting to know each other and installing and yeah. trying to, you know, new guys trying to learn defense, new coaches trying to learn defense and offense. And I think now, uh, you know, we're at that point now where now we're getting better at fundamentals and techniques going through camp, and it only helps us get better when we start game one. There was a piece written about Urban Meyer this week by ESPN talking about how his evolution as a coach. Does he look to you like he's having fun out there? Oh yeah, yeah, I think he is. I think he, uh, I think there's a. Anytime you're a head coach there, and uh, you got a team that goes and works and does what you ask them to do, you know, you, you have fun as a head coach. And I think he's having fun because for the most part, these guys are doing everything we ask them to do. I, was, it, it, I think one of his problems in the past was not maybe not always trusting and delegating the way that he did early in his career. You, you guys feel like he's been able to do that with this staff? Obviously, he hasn't worked with a lot of you guys right. in the past. Well, there's a lot of, you know, uh, from top to bottom, this is a quality staff of guys that have done a lot of different things in a lot of different places. So uh, as he gets to know us and our, our you know, work habits and, and, and work ethic and competitiveness, I'm sure he'll continue to dedicate. How are you guys from a health standpoint, given that you just started two days and your first hitting yeah. full practice was yesterday? Well, I think we're, we're you know, pretty healthy defensively. I think, like I said, we got depth in the defensive line, so uh, that helps. Uh, you know, it's just always, always you're going to have the bumps and bruises that can. You know, guys have to fight through it. We have to do a great job of monitoring the guys that are practicing and the guys that aren't. Practicing. We talked uh, last week about how we could go both ways. You guys fighting to just keep him on one side. Who said that? Roby. Yeah, well, I mean, he's <laughs> one of those guys that, you know, thinks he can uh, uh, fly to the moon. Yeah, <laughs> You know, he, he's a talented guy. Uh, we want him to be great at, at being a corner. Uh, to me, he's still working to do that. Let's so, uh, keep him on defense. And, uh, we're going to see if we make it better. Well, what do you have to do? What part of his game right there are you trying to key in on? Uh, it's always consistency. He's a talented guy, but, you know, the, the, the really good ones and great ones I've been around are consistent. And they, and they work, and you don't, you know, you don't have to watch them. You know, they're always getting better at the crap. I always think it's a sign of a great player. He's not always working on his strengths. He's working on his weaknesses. You know, and that's what, that's what really good players are. When you start with a, with a corner that has that kind of confidence that thinks he can go both ways or make those, is that, is that important for you as a coach to at least start with that? you got to have that ability on the I, outside. I think there's a yeah. DNA that you have to have as a corner that you've got to be able to think that you're pretty good. You know, if not the best, right. you know, and that's what you do in recruiting. You try to find those kind of guys uh, because there are going to be times you're going to get your butt beat, you know, and 105,000 are going to know where you're going. So how do you handle that? How do you come back from that on the next play? you got to have guys that have thick skin and confidence in themselves. How do you handle maybe, How do you handle that with some of the guys with that battle between being confident and being overconfident? Well, I mean, that's a, you know, I think maturity handles that. I think as guys get older, I think they uh, they become more mature and understand that you know they just don't get by on confidence. They got to get by, by on technique and, and fundamentals, and then once they have that, the confidence grows and, and uh, they're able to play and use those two together. What are your first impressions been of the, the new guys at corner, Najee Murray and Armani Reeves? I think they're very tough kids. I think they work their tails off. They come from great high school programs where they've been coached well. Uh, and that's the foundation that you have, and uh, hopefully uh, that, and as they learn the scheme and the defense, they'll continue to better, but they've got a great foundation coming in here. It seemed like you guys have a pretty consistent three guys at corner that you guys feel pretty comfortable with, but are you able, how tough is it to develop depth behind that with everybody being so young? Well, I mean, you just got to put them out there and let them play. You know, that's what this camp's about is to find out what guys can do physically and in the classroom mentally and then grow them out there on the football field fundamentally. And that's what we're doing with these guys. We're throwing them out there, letting them play, and, you know, the ones that compete will continue to get better. The ones that won't, won't. And uh, right now those guys are all competing.